everybody and welcome to today's video we're going to be talking about the february 2021 boxy charm base and premium box choices what choice i make what add-ons i want all kinds of things but anyways if you are new here hi hello and welcome my name is ronda and over here we always embrace the hot mess because it's a judgment free drama free stress free zone where we sit back relax we chit chat we unbox we talk, we have a good time, and I am trying to be good about remembering at the end of the video telling you guys where my top is from as well as what makeup is on my face. So stay tuned to the end for that. I will also try and link everything down below. They will be affiliate codes just letting you, or links, just letting you guys know. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump on in. <laughs> BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm does have different options. So they have two boxes that are monthly subscriptions. The first one we're going to talk about is the base box. It is $25 a month and you will receive at least $125 worth of goodies. You do get to customize one of the items. Now, the items, they were okay. They weren't like knock your socks off. Um, but I don't feel like they were horrible. So the first item we had to choose from was Brow Bar by Rima Bombshell Brow Kit. It does have a retail value of $40. It does look like you have a selection as far as the color goes, light, medium, and dark. I think that this is great uh, if you guys are into like a pomade type of really sculpting out your brows. I am not that girl. I stick with like, you know, my AOA Studio pencil, my Milk Kush gel, and my brow game is not the strongest, but we do what we can and we embrace it, you know? So that was the first choice. The next is by Ace Beauté. This is a nostalgia palette, I believe it's called. It does have a retail value of $38, and it is a beautiful, colorful, eyeshadow palette. So if you are in to those bright, bold, colorful palettes, you're probably going to love this palette. We have seen Ace Beauté palettes in the past. We've seen like a coral, I want to say it was actually last January maybe in the base box, a coral palette. I think there was even like a blue maybe, different shades of blue palette that was available. And again, it was in the, okay. Okay guys, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna be real with you guys. This is my fourth time filming this mother trucking video and I'm in my own head right now because I had a couple comments that probably weren't meant to be mean or nasty, but I'm a sensitive creature at times and I took it that way of how I repeat a couple different things such as I'm not mad about it and like I said, and I, like I said, I don't think they meant to be rude about it but it has completely effed with me, <laughs> period. So now every time, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So at this point, I'm gonna pull a Haley and say take a green juice shot anytime I repeat something that ticks you off. How about that? So <laughs> that was another thing that ticked people off. I'm gonna cry. <sighs> okay, anyways, let's move along. The Ace Beauté palette, that was an option. The last one was the Wonder Beauty Getaway Eye and Face Palette. This has a retail value of $36, and I feel like you guys are going to be a little shocked, but this is what I ended up picking for my paid-for base box. It's very vanilla, it's very basic, and it's very much inside my comfort zone, so I went ahead and went with it. I figured worst case scenario, if I open it and I'm like, you have this, which I know I have this, I'm going to just give it to mom because I know for a fact mom would love these colors so my mom may be getting this palette so those were your choices as far as this went for the base box and matter of fact all of these items are available in add-ons if you are interested and in, say choosing one item and then shopping and picking up the other ones i have been known to do that in the past so anywho Moving on to the next uh, choices that we had for the premium box. Now the premium box is $35 a month and you will receive at least $175 worth of goodies in the box. And again, you do get to customize one item in the box. Now the choices for premium, I don't know what y'all's thoughts are, but for me, huge difference as far as the choices went for the base to the premium. I feel like, just looking at the choices alone, 
premium is really standing up and I feel like you're seeing a difference as far as the value goes, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? I feel like sometimes people will make comments like when they look at the bo the the base box to the premium box and they'll, really, they'll say things like, the base box was so much better than the premium box. I feel like choices alone, the premium box has it for February. So let's go ahead and chat about these choices. The first one is by Pure. This is the Submerge Overnight Detox Anti-Pollution Moisturizer. It does have a retail value of $34. It says it deeply nourishes and it helps to purify the skin overnight. It's an overnight detox anti-pollution moisturizer that drastically helps to reduce the appearance of dry skin fine lines and wrinkles with intense hydration sounds great and you know i think if you pick that one out and you've tried pure skincare in the past then you know you know you know so leave me a comment down below let us know if you've tried any of these choices out i will tell you guys the one choice that i was really mm, about and i'm like oh is this gonna get me to maybe pull the trigger again and pick up the premium box because I, if you guys follow me over my vlog channel, you know I picked up a Peloton. I bought myself the Peloton. I've been loving it. It is $39 a month to have the Peloton membership. So I went ahead and let my premium box go. However, these choices, although available in add-ons, they've been sprinkling around some more sneaky peekies for us. And I'm like, oh... Maybe February is not the month that I need to be letting this premium box go. You know what I mean? So that's where I'm at. I'm kind of like, oh, don't worry. I'll be coming back and doing a sneak peek spoiler for you guys on all the sneaky peekies that are coming up for February. But what I will say is the premium box looks like it's going to be freaking amazing. So the next choice item that we had is by Elemis. This is the Elemis Must Cleanse Active Body Oil. Now I've never particularly even heard about this particular item. It has a retail value of $63.50. It is available in add-ons for $12. I've got it sitting in my bag and I just haven't decided actually what I'm thinking about it. I, I think it would probably be a good idea to just go ahead and do it because of the things that I want and that is coming in premium. Ugh. Okay, anyways, this has a fast absorbing body oil and it contains a powerful synergy, synergy, uh, try again girl, again, I'm in my own head, a uh, synergy of extracts to help relax, ease tension uh, of tired muscles. Wow, okay, it's Monday and I'm struggling hard. So there is a ton of beneficial things that are in this item that makes me consider it. Um, I think it would be a great choice. Like I literally, this is me chatting with you guys but also trying to justify things in my head. Anyways, let's move on to the next choice that we are seeing for the premium box. And this is a KVD Vegan Beauty Go Big or Go Home Mascara in Trooper Black. It does have a retail value of $24. I personally never tried this mascara. Let us know down below if you have. What were your thoughts on that? The next item is the Laura Mercier um, Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01. It does have a retail value of $44, and this is also available in add-ons for $12. Um, I've told you guys in the past, I feel like I just have such an abundance of highlighters. I'm good, so I was okay there. I go back and forth with the whole Elemis product because we know it is such a great skincare line and I'm like oh I don't know anyways guys those were the four cho choices for the premium box let me know what did you go ahead and choose for your premium box what did you choose for your base box I told you guys I went with the Wonder Beauty palette for my base and I'm on the fence if I should just go ahead and reactivate my premium box I'm kind of leaning with I am going to because some of the sneak peeks that I've seen that Joe has confirmed has me all kinds of excited so I don't know let me know you guys thoughts down below real quick before we go my sweater is like one of the coziest 
flipping sweaters known to man this is very similar i believe to like the barefoot dreams but it's from torrid and i actually picked it up i want to say for like 30 some dollars on sale got it for like 60 percent off or something so that is available at torrid if it is still i will link it for you guys as far as my makeup goes i have been loving this tarte face tape foundation paired with my tape shape concealer that is such a lot of words uh, sticking with primers in the T-zone area, minus the chin, the Varsali Skin Tune Blur Volition Snow Mushroom Water Serum. I'm loving this stuff for the hydration. I mean, you can see my skin starts, it's like doing this glowing thing to it. I absolutely love it. I've had a lot of people ask, um, what I typically use on my blush and I change them up a lot. Today, I went with my Fenty Beauty uh, cream. This is in Petal Poppin. That is what is on my cheeks. My bronzer is Marc Jacobs as well as, blah, 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 as well as Hourglass. On my eyes, I have the Violet Voss All of You Forever. This was in the BoxyCharm base box for January. Very easy to work with and I was able to create like a very nice simple type of look and I am practicing on my wings and adding a little little lashes at the edge and I don't know I, I put on a full thing of lashes like a whole band of lashes today and it was a little too much so I'm just sticking with putting the wispies on the edges and I'm loving it they're magnetic and whoo they're the best ever. Uh, as far as my lips, I went a bit darker and I'm having fun with that. I know. Who am I? I don't know. Um, I have the Real Her Lip Liner. I think it's called I Am Confident. It was in a boxy charm. Then I have the Mystic Moon Lipstick by Gerard Cosmetics. Isn't that fun? It's like a... I don't know it's a mix between like a gray cool tone and warm tone matte lipstick it's very comfortable and then of course I went in with a little bit of the elf tinted lip oil which I keep trying to link for you guys but it keeps saying it's sold out so hopefully it'll open up very soon because I love that stuff like it's so inexpensive and I love it so anyways guys that is all for today's video like I said let me know what your choices are down below I'll try and remember to link and list my makeup for you guys uh, this is actually available the violet Voss palette in add-ons right now for 12 bucks so if you are interested in picking it up definitely go ahead and uh, do a little shopping in the add-ons if you guys want to sign up for boxycharm base or premium box i always have a link down in the description box for you guys as well as in my comment section it's an affiliate link so thank you in advance if you do sign up using it and i made it through the video i think i'm out of my own head now that gets bad it gets really bad when you're someone with like dyslexia ADHD, I know I tend to repeat. Plus, I'm a mom on top of it. So, yeah. I, I And then when I get called out on it, I'm like... <sighs> Anyways, guys, be kind to one another. And until next time, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Mwah! Bye, guys.